From a very small age, I wanted to be a ballet dancer. When I was entering my teen years, I was picked to go on point, a more advanced form of ballet where you dance on the tips of your toes. To do this, I had to get a routine physical. During the physical, my doctor told me I had scoliosis and that it was pretty severe. I was referred to a specialist who determined that I could try a back brace for a few years, but if my curve progressed, I would have to have surgery. By my sophomore year in high school, I had my first spinal fusion surgery. By my junior year, I had already undergone three surgeries, and my surgeon told me that my dancing career was over. During my freshman year of college, I discovered biomedical engineering and learned how engineers developed instrumentation similar to what went into my spine. From then on, I was determined to become a biomedical engineer and help people like me with spinal deformities. I decided that if no one else could fix my spine, I would do it myself. I graduated from Virginia Tech and continued my quest to work on developing instrumentation to help individuals with scoliosis. I found a job with a company, K2M, that is passionate about improving the treatment of spinal deformities, amazingly in my own backyard here in Virginia. Through my new job, I met many world-class spinal surgeons, including the doctor that would become my surgeon. The pain in my back had been increasing for years, but a couple of years out of college, my symptoms progressed to the point where I knew I needed another surgery. I was only 25 years old, but I was out of breath walking up a flight of stairs. My feet felt sometimes like they were numb and sometimes like they were on fire. I knew that I could trust the engineering behind the instrumentation because I had worked on some of the components that were going to be used on my own spine. In August 2008, I had my fourth spinal surgery. My surgeon straightened my spine so much during the surgery that I grew three inches. My mother said she didn't even recognize the x-rays hanging from my bed. She told me she thought to herself, why would someone with such a beautiful spine need all those screws in their back? Thanks to my new spine, I recently graduated with my master's degree from Virginia Tech and Georgetown University in Biomedical Technology Development and Management. I have continued working as a biomedical engineer on spinal deformity instrumentation at K2M, the same company I have been with since college. I asked Dr. John Kostwick, Chief Scientific Officer at K2M, for his advice on treating my disorder. He took a look at my case and my back, and he suggested that I speak with several distinguished surgeons that K2M works with. I am so lucky that K2M partnered with Dr. Ahenaba Bawachi and that I was able to work with him as he is arguably one of the best deformity surgeons in the world. I was even luckier to have him as my surgeon. I am blessed to have a job that I love where I not only help myself, but thousands of other people around the world with similar spinal deformities. I recently returned from a volunteer project in Ghana to help provide life-changing surgeries for patients sponsored by K2M. Being able to actually see and meet the children Dr. Bawachi and I have helped in Ghana was an amazing experience. Dr. Bawachi and I are currently working on some really exciting new projects to help kids with the same condition I have, so it is very rewarding work. Through my collaboration with one of the best deformity surgeons in the world, I can't wait to fully develop the next generation version, a best-in-class deformity system to treat pediatric patients and see it help children all over the world. I was recently featured on the Scoliosis Research Society website and their Facebook page. It was a great honor to be included in their patient stories, to be able to tell my story through their website and affect patients worldwide. It is truly rewarding to be a part of the process of developing these new approaches in scoliosis surgery that can give someone a new lease on life just as I experienced after my surgery with the products I helped to develop.